Hi guys, how are you? I am back, it is Saturday again and I have something super excited and I think it's sold out, I just checked the website, almost lucky to get it. The product that I'm talking is, well you probably guessed it on the title anyways, is Morphe and Jaclyn Hill The Vault Collection. To be honest, I was not planning to buy it. It just kind of happened by accident. I wanted one particular uh, palette. I'll show you in a second. And for some reason, that particular palette that I wanted was sold out just by itself. So I kind of went ahead and grabbed the whole vault. Um, for those of you that live in Canada, you can get it from Morphe Brushes website. They do deliver to Canada and they do give you pricing in Canadian dollars. And more than that, I actually got it in two days amazing fast delivery incredible and um well no taxes no duties because i think they have a warehouse in canada just in case you were curious about so i'm just gonna tell you how much it cost me with taxes and all that fun stuff it will cost you 64 dollars canadian plus tax so it came to 73 dollars and some change um delivery was free which is awesome so i opened the palette I looked at them I didn't swatch them I didn't try I didn't play so this is um first impression I'm gonna swatch all of the shades and I'm gonna use one of the palettes on my eyes today I cannot wait so let's open it first thing first this is how the package looks very beautiful very sparkly on the back you have Jaclyn Hill so pretty much she's just saying that when she was doing her original palette um, there were some other shades that she didn't put in the palette because she had to choose 35 shades but this is the shades that she also kind of developed I assume and these are kind of the babies of her uh, Morphe uh, the other Morphe palette whatever the collaboration that she had I don't have that palette in my collection I wanted to get it but they kind of got carried away and bought this one instead some people speculate that is it has very similar shades to this vault I cannot tell you those are not but in any case we're gonna try um, and see how this one performs the vault collection has some uh, issues as I heard so apparently the, some colors were pressed too hard and people complain about it so they stopped the, the release and they kind of really I guess the quality control check and now we are back <laughs> with the release I think it was a great thing to do if you kind of screwed up fix it up um, so I'm super excited I want to know how this one will work is there anything else I got to say about the collection I don't think so I think that's pretty much it so this is what it looks like when you open the box it has the similar idea as the box itself by the way it comes in this like bubble wrap like very much securely everything was packed really good and uh, honestly no issues nothing cracked nothing um nothing broke while shipped we have four eyeshadows we have ring the alarm arm and gorgeous bling balls and dark magic so these are pretty much i don't know if the camera lets you see anything it's really shiny and sparkling so these are pretty much the four palettes it has this cute thing that you can pull and it will release all the palettes here are all four palettes tell you that i'm excited it's not that really anything. So let's start from the first palette. I think we're gonna do swatches and then I'm gonna choose which palette to apply my eyes. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do first. So we have Dark Magic. Dark Magic is more in the dark colors, has 10 shades and they're more like very much smoky dark um, shades. Then we have Bling Boss. Bling Boss more like in the purple family, pink purple family, which is really beautiful. I love this palette. And particular I like this shade is absolutely stunning I also like this shade a lot so this is one of the palette I'm considering using today but I want to see other ones we're gonna do the swatches of this palette as well then we have arm and gorgeous this palette is so beautiful to me I cannot that's the palette that was not available for purchase and I wanted this palette so badly when I saw it online I really like the colors and this uh the shade coin oh my god is so beautiful I just want to try it maybe I'll go with this palette I don't know the decision is so hard and finally we have ring the alarm this one is more in the warm tone palette it is beautiful not my personal favorite but it is gorgeous nonetheless I know a lot of people like 
like warm tone colors. Um, just personally, me, I'm more like smoky, dark, and like some different. No, I think I feel like that I had I had so many warm tone uh, palettes recently, so I'm just kind of fed up. But um, nonetheless, it is also beautiful. The shade Bombast is amazing. I like how it looks. Yeah, let's swatch everything, and um, I'm gonna choose one palette and I'm gonna play with it today. So without further ado, let's do the swatches. So the first palette is Dark Magic. From left to right we have the shades Poof, Power Cut. Very beautiful, it looks very silvery in the in the palette, but it swatches almost like pink sheen, which is really pretty. Then we have Shh, Trickery, Diversion, the bottom row, we have Potion, Busted, Inside Job, Mojo, Temptress. The second palette is Blink Boss. Top row we have from left to right Blink Blink, Hush Hush, Jam, Pizzas, Mystic. Then the bottom row we have Sparks, Glitz and Glam, Rockstar, Ballsy, Berry Treasure. Then we have Armed and Gorgeous. Top row we have VIP, Access, Girl Trip, Coin, Agent. Then the bottom row we have Top Secret, Smooth Criminal, Secure, Prowl, and Classified. Finally we have Bring the Alarm palette. Top row we have Lolly, Rush, On Camera, Boom, Alert, bottom row we have Bombas, Siren, Magshot, Framed, Secret. So pretty much all colors swatch beautifully except few shades. The biggest problem that I had was with the palette Dark Magic and the darker shades swatch a little bit patchy and uh, in particular Basta didn't have that much pigment coming out. So this one is a bit um, not super excited about this palette, I gotta tell you. <laughs> the other palettes swatch beautifully. These two shades are, oh my god, Loli and Bombas. Bombas from the palette Ring the Alarm. They are gorgeous. Are not gorgeous palette. Coin and Classified. I am dying for them. I don't know if I should try this palette or Bling Boss, which is more the purple one. Damn, it says like, like this palette is beautiful. Like these colors are so stunning. I don't know which one to try. I kind of attracted to both of them. And I kind of feel like I want to go with the Bling Boss more since I cannot ask you guys which one you want to see. I think I'm going to try with bling balls and uh, maybe I'll record another video trying the arm and gorgeous yeah that's I think what I'm gonna do. Uh, by the way, one thing that I noticed is that pretty much all palettes do not have a shade that you can put on your eyelid to set the concealer or the primer. That sucks. The only palette that has a very light shade is Dark Magic. Um, it has the shade Poof that you can use to set the concealer or the primer. And uh, that's the only one that has like very deep dark uh, color, black one. Every other palette does not have it. And in fact, I don't see any other palette that will have anything uh, that you can put in your brow bone except possibly the shade VIP which I think a little bit uh, too glittery to be in the brow bone. This is kind of sucks I guess. I guess I'll have to dig in in the shade poof from Dark Magic palette just to set my primer because I already have everything I've obviously applied on my face except the eyes. I have the primer on my eyes. I would like to set it even though it's not that bad but I would still prefer to set it before I apply the rest of the eyeshadow just to make sure that my base is as smooth and the eyeshadows perform exactly as they are made. I'm gonna go into palette Dark Magic and I'm gonna go and grab the shape Hoof just set my primer. Honestly, you can use any um, light shade from any other eyeshadows. You don't need to buy Dark Magic just for that shade. You can use Wet n Wild uh, single eyeshadow, which is like two, two bucks and it gives you pretty much the same uh, shade. I'm gonna swatch side by side so you guys can see how similar. This is the Wet n Wild. I don't know if you can see. And this one is uh, the shade Poof from Dark Magic. Wet n Wild slightly lighter than uh, shade poof and uh, I think it will work just as fine as the other one but for the sake of trying we're gonna try the shade poof from Dark Magic palette. I hope there is not much of a fallout in this palette. Honestly there's nothing much to say about the shade it's just <laughs> it is good to set your primer. I can't complain about this shade. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna zoom in closer so you guys can see how I'm applying my um, eyes and how everything blends. So let's dig in into the palette Bling Boss. 
this is the palette. Like the palette looks very much identical to the package. Well, now my palette looks like a complete mess because I already put my fingers in it. <laughs> it is what it is. So the first shade that I'm gonna go in is the shade Hush Hush and I'm gonna apply it in the crease. That's the shade. It is powder and there is some kickback when you dig into it. Right away I see that there is a pigmentation in the shade. So far no problems of blending it. They're very powdery, you have to remember that. There's a lot of kickback and uh, a lot of comes off the brush when I kick the excess. But there is pigment and they blend really well. Well, this shade in particular blends really well. I'm gonna go in the shade Rockstar and focus more on the lower part of my crease. Again, very powdery. And oh my gosh, super pigmented. Oh my god, I hope I can blend it out. Okay, very pigmented shade. You have to be very careful with this shade. I really like this shade. It blends and it is pigmented and it's so pretty. I like it. Yes, I am leaving for this shade. I think I'm gonna go in the shade Mystic, the dark purple shade, and just uh, try to intensify the outer corner a little bit more. Also pigmented, I think, although the shades are quite pigmented. I find all the shades are powdery, which is fine with me, as long as I can make it work and I can blend it and um, I can get some pigment out of it. By the way, so far, uh, barely any fallouts. I see some, but nothing major happening, which is good. I'm really liking how it's starting to turn out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super excited to grab that shade, the purple shade called Jam, and apply Gage Nose Wear somewhere just to play with that. And I just hope I'm not gonna ruin the makeup, and I think I'm gonna go with the finger. Look at how beautiful this shade is. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. It is very beautiful shade. So I'm just gonna apply it all over my lid. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but my fingertip is so fat. I'm gonna wet the brush and grab that purple shade because I just don't wanna have a lot of fallout. Well, I don't wanna have any fallout whatsoever. I don't wanna take my chances. Oh my god. Look how stunning the shade is. Oh. I think this is my favorite shade out of the palette. Yeah, that purple shade gives me a lot of fallout. Purple shade is very beautiful and when you wet it, it gets even more gorgeous. I'm gonna go back to the shade Rockstar, the purple shade, and just uh, blend everything that I have in here. Just trying to get rid of some harsh lines after applying that purple shade. There's definitely fallout happening, but that's what normally happens when you have your makeup out first and then you try to play with some dark colors. And I'm gonna go back to the shade Mystic, the dark brown shade, and just uh, focus on the outer corner. Just try to, uh, again, we're trying to reblend everything and uh, get rid of the harsh lines. That's strange. I don't know if you can pick it up or not, but there is like a bold spot. I don't know what the hell happened. And I don't know if I kind of screwed up badly, but this is so weird that I have a bold spot in there. I have a lot of fallout happening under my eyes. It's not looking super cute, but we're just gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the shade Bling Bling and uh, just focus on the middle part of my lid. Kinda want to have some Bling Bling. <laughs> I'm gonna wet it as well. Let's see if I can clean the mess. I'm gonna go in the shade Mystic again, the darkest shade, and just focus on the lower lash. Very close to the, to the lash line. Then I'm gonna go grab shade Rockstar and do the same, just a little bit lower. Smoke it out. And finally we're gonna grab the shade uh, Hush Hush, the Dusty Rose shade, the one that the first uh, shade that we apply. And just a little bit lower than everything else, just smoke it out, make everything connect, you know. I think 
I am done and oh my gosh, I'm loving how I'm done. I'm not done, I'm not even close to be done. <laughs> I'm gonna go and grab the shade bling bling, the one to apply it on the, in the middle of the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and wet it and just focus on my inner corner. All right, I think we're done with the palette. I love how it turned out. I really enjoyed the look. It is looking very pretty, smoky, purple. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna finish uh, the rest of the eyes. I'm gonna apply mascara, some lashes, and I will be back. So the rest of the makeup is done. I'm really loving my eyes, how they turn out. I find it so pretty. I'm living for the for the colors. That purple is, oh my god, this purple is so beautiful. I can't even tell you how beautiful. And the bling bling color is very pretty. These two combination is amazing. I'm loving it. I really, again, I like how it turned out. I'm barely ever wearing this kind of colors. So this one was something new and interesting. And bravo, Jacqueline, bravo. I'm I'm really liking it. I gotta tell you that uh, this is not probably the easiest palette to blend it but it is blendable and you can work it with it no issues whatsoever there is some fallout which is normal for most of the shadows because normally you should be applying your eyeshadows before you do the rest of the makeup that's the golden rule i would highly recommend to do your eyes before you do the rest of your makeup because if you don't want to have fallout that's the way to go <laughs> honestly this is a very beautiful palette i really like the blink boss palette i really enjoy the color selection and how everything worked out on my eyes really beautiful palette if i were to choose one palette to not purchase that probably would be the dark magic just because the colors swatched up not so great and honestly the only color that i'm kind of well there are a few colors that i'm really into and this would be the potion and the power cut and diversion also unexpected that the black color tempt temptress is absolutely gorgeous and creamy and smooth i i really want to try that um, color in particular because it just swatched so pretty. These two shades, Power Cut and Diversion, I would probably miss out because the other shade that is called Potion is... I kind of have a similar shade that is in here. This one is called Top Secret, this one is Potion. I honestly see no difference between the two shades and um, I'm kind of confused why they call differently. Is it like a different shade? Maybe a little bit, slightly. This is more like um, Top Secret would be more like um, dark green while that one the potion is more like hacky but other than that um i probably would forego this uh palette the dark magic palette altogether if i were not purchasing the wool if you're not a collector it is nice to create probably a smoky but it just um this palette is the least is least attracting for me uh out of all the palettes this one uh, this one, if I would be purchasing one palette, I'll probably go with that just because the color in this particular palette attract me so much. I find that this is a beautiful palette. I want to play with that. I think I'm going to do one more video with the playing with the shades. Maybe I'll do a look on this palette in particular, but um, honestly, I can't wait to play with this. I find the colors, they speak to my soul. <laughs> These colors do speak to my soul. I can't wait to play with the armed and gorgeous palette. Uh, yeah, as I said Blink Boss is amazing. The other palette that kind of surprised me is the Ring the Alarm. I mean, as I said, I'm not a big fan of the warm tones, but the two shades Lolly and Bomb S are really something. And um, I probably could forego this palette also altogether because um, I kind of have similar shades in my collection. For me, the true standouts were the two palettes Blink Boss and Armed and Gorgeous. They are the most beautiful in my opinion. I would grab these two palettes if I were to choose just uh, just a few, not everything. Honestly, the whole connection is very beautiful. I really like how my look turned out with the palette Blink Boss. I can't wait to play with other palettes. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day and I'm probably gonna put in the description below how the palette wore throughout the day. If everything stays the same, I highly recommend this palette because the colors are really something <laughs> i think this is it there is nothing else more to say thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe if you haven't already and